On March 23rd, the Trump administration announced new discriminatory measures against transgender people by banning them from military service, which had just been granted under Obama. While this story has received widespread coverage, likely because it threatens the U.S. image as a compassionate empire, it's just the latest attack on the trans community since the right wing took power. Before Trump took office, the same forces of bigotry were waging this war. In 2016 alone, more than 50 bills were introduced in Congress targeting the lives of trans people. But now that the conservative movement occupies the highest seat of power, they're seeing their anti-LGBTQ fantasies plow through federal institutions. Trump began this assault not even two months into his administration. Chase Strangio, a trans rights activist and attorney for the American Civil Liberties Union, explains the impact of anti-trans discrimination. The reality is that the law, you know, doesn't ex provide explicit for protections for trans people. But even where the law is protective, we know that systems of discrimination are far beyond what the legal system um, will actually remedy. And so what we see are widespread uh, discrimination in housing and education, uh, in employment, which leads people, you know, out of their homes at young ages, both because of discrimination in the education system, also because of uh, rejection by families, so we see young people who are trans being homeless at really young ages. What are the fronts that we need to be organizing around uh, best under the Trump administration? I mean, I think we just have to be really vigilant in all of our organizing and, and really sort of work together to make sure that we are providing relentless uh, people power, both at the state level and the federal level. Uh, we need to be telling stories um, because I think the laws you know, the laws only protect you so much, even at their best, and they um, can only be rolled back so much, even at their worst. But when you sort of entrench uh, and you do you entrench, you know, new cultural norms and you do base building and power building, you really have a, a strong movement that 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 can't be um, that that can't be totally trampled by the government. And I think that's where we have to put our energy and really stand up for each other. Now, in the age of Trump and a renewed attack on the LGBTQ community. Trans voices need not only be heard by Americans, but also followed. <laughs>